Welcome! Last time we did this corridor. If you haven't seen this video, you can now click the info box. And today we want to start making this little enemy. And we will make him patrol today without writing a single line of code. But time is rare, so let's get started. 1909 games. Let's make games. So let's start by importing the nav mesh components folder into our project. Just drag and drop it into your assets. So that was the first step, pretty easy, right? <laughs> and we need a new object and let's call this nav mesh. On this, we want a nav mesh surface. Let's just bake it. And as you can see, we have a surface that's like this blue stuff you see in the scene view. And on this surface, the enemy will be able to walk on. It's not perfect right here, but we don't care about that right now. Just let's make the enemy. And the enemy will be a 3D object, of course. And I prepared this little uh, beautiful guy who's uh, obviously uh, pretty happy, as you can see. I mean, uh, uh, look at him. <laughs> and he will act as our enemy and he has a have a nav mesh agent on it. So if you don't have it, like add component and search for nav mesh agent. And here see we have a speed that's set to 3.5. Let's just set it to two. And that's all we want to do at the moment for this little guy. So I have the enemy and you know, the cube is the actual mesh and I did a box collider on this one, I prepared this little guy, so yeah. If you have an enemy, uh, or if you don't have an enemy, just make a box for the beginning and give it a box collider and a nav mesh agent. And on the main object, let's make a new flow machine. So, let's get flow machine, and uh, make it a mat and edit the graph. So, let's delete the start function and we just Today I need the update function and we need some object variables. The first will be the destination. Destination. So that will be of type game object. And we want a list of destinations. So destination list. And this destination list will be of type search for list and then transform. So no, sorry, transform there. List transform. And let's put three empty slots here with the plus sign you can make. Plus, minus, you know. And that's it. That's all variables we will need today. And we'll start with the sequence. Sequence. There we go. The first thing that we want to do is we want to see if the player is close to one of his destinations. So to one of these three points. So for that we make a branch and the branch will, you know, see if something is true or false and, but what, what will be true? What, what is the condition? So let's search for less um, and type in 0.1 or 0.15 or, you know, something like that and the remaining distance. So nav mesh remaining where do we it? Uh, here we have it. Remaining distance. So the remaining distance to the next destination, if this is less than 0.1, then we will have the true condition. And if it is false, you know, if we are more far away from it, so if we are not closer than 0.1 units, then we will make the false condition and the false condition will, will be set destination. Set destination. Destination. So nav mesh agent set destination of itself, and the destination will be the transform dot position, and we want to get the transform dot position of our sorry of our destination of our destination object. Beautiful. So. But what is our destination? One of the three objects that we will make in a minute. And how do we, you know, randomize which point he will walk next? For that, we want to set the destination. Set destination to a random, you know, 
to one of the three randomly. <laughs> so we want to get a list and we want to get an item of a list. List item, get list item of which list of our destination list. So that's important, you know, that he knows which list he has, is searching for. And we want a random range of int of the type int. And as you can read when you hold a little bit here, return a random integer number between minimum inclusive and maximum exclusive. So we want to make at first an int that is literal. So, and that will be zero. And we need a second one. And that will not be, you know, the first thing you see here on the list is the index zero. The second is one and the third is two. But since the maximum is exclusive, let's make it to three. So now he is getting a random int between zero, one or two. And that will happen if it is true. You know, if they, if we are closer than 0.1 units to our destination. Let's close this for now and let's make a new object. So create empty. This object will be called, let's call it the uh, point. Pretty easy. And it will contain, create empty. Let's call this one, let's go easy, just one. It's called one. Let's see, it is, you know, sets the position of it wherever you want. Um, yeah, I think that looks good for the first one. Copy and paste it, set, reset the position, um, call it two. Copy and paste it, reset the position again and call it three. Go back to your enemy to edit the graph of your flow machine and here you can, you know, set the destination points. One, two and three. And at last let's connect the set variable with our set destination. And like this, if we now close this one and hit play, you see our character is moving. But now, <laughs> now let's see if the work of today is, you know, <laughs> working out. <laughs> and the enemy is walking to the first point. It is going back to another point, I think to the first. Now he's going back and now he's going back again. And like this, he is going back and forth, <laughs> you know, he's patrolling. Next time, I think we will do shooting so that the enemy, if we are in range, will shoot at the player. If you have ideas, so what I can do next for a video, you know, next we'll be shooting so that the little enemy right here will shoot at us. But I think maybe that's enough for this tutorial series. If you really, really want to see more of this, like UI stuff or something, so please tell me in the comments. But I think I would like to do something else next. Yeah, it would be great to, <laughs> to do something else. But if you really want uh, me to do that, uh, go further on with that, then just tell me in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. But that's it for today. I hope I see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. If you don't want to miss future content, then please hit the subscribe and hit the like button. Next time we want to make our little enemy right here shoot at us when we are too close. And I'll see you next time. Bye.